Good evening, everyone. It's Ben from BRIT Solutions. Just wanted to show you a quick video tonight of um, how our PCs are actually made. And this is one of these towers I built a couple of years ago. And the reason why we use Pacific Towers to build our customers, I mean, I built this machine three years ago for a customer. It's in for a service at the moment. But it's a good sized case and it's got plenty of room for expansion. And what we always do when we build our computers, and this is why I wanted to do the video on it, is that we always put in a DVD writer, because some people still want to use those. We always put in a card reader, which is important. We always put in dual USBs and have a good switch at the top. And we always put a big fan at the bottom there. You can't see the fan there, but it's got a big fan there to keep the ventilation of the drives um, cool. So I'm going to take you around to the side of the machine, and I'm going to take the side off the machine as well because this is another good thing reason why we use big cases like this it's got the, the easy turn screws there that means it's easy to take it apart and we just take the side off the machine it's quite they're quite easy to take apart this one that's another beauty of them as well and the good thing about these um cases is the, the room inside you've got a lot of ventilation room here as i say there's lots of room for the air to get around and i can show you here that's where that big fan is there and it keeps the old um the hard drives cool especially for mechanical hard drives they get a lot hotter than the newer ssd hard drives this machine unfortunately hasn't got an ssd in there at the moment but it could do with that upgrade but it's got room to put an SSD here with the more expansion base here. It's got three expansion bays. Um, up the top there you've got the DVD writers I showed you earlier. But you can fit another DVD writer in there. There's a lot of space in this case to put more expansion. Um, moving along, you can put quite a big power supply in there. It's got enough room to put a modular in there for a bigger, more powerful uh, machine. Um, just got the usual basics. It's got a, this one's actually got a sound card in it, so because the customer wanted an upgraded sound card, so they can um, listen to five point one speakers. So if I can move around to the side there, he can actually put a, a subwoofer in there and speakers, so he can have up to five speakers. Um, there's also got a slot there to put the graphics card in, and the good thing about this case, it's got enough room to put in a decent graphics card as well. Um, the board has got uh, 4 gig of RAM on it at the moment, but it can take another 4 gig and make it 8 gig. It's only an AMD processor, but the good thing is we always use good quality boards. Move closer in with the camera, we always use Gigabyte boards. Because Gigabyte are a very good company and the reliability of these boards are very reliable. We prefer these boards to using um, ASRock ones, MSI ones etc because we find that these boards have got a lot more um, um, reliability and and stronger build as well um nothing quick thing i can show you about these the way we build these computers like so let's connect the um the audio the hard drive the front usbs the SATA ports i mean it's just a quick video just to show you that um how we build these computers because a lot of people say, how, Ben, how do you actually do this? How do you actually build these machines? But I wanted to show you in a video how it's actually done. One thing to look out for on desktop machines more than ever is the dust around this fan here. The dust and dirt gets into this fan will actually make the machine fail. So you've got to make sure you keep this fan like this one is. This one's been very well looked after, this computer. Because my customer actually knows from having an engineer like me that to keep these fans clean all the time and dust free. So this machine hasn't got a lot of dust in it because the customer actually looks after it. There's a little bit of dust on here, but nothing really major because he actually keeps it clean quite a lot by blowing out this fan quite a lot and this fan quite a lot because you've got to make sure that these two fans are quite well ventilated and quite clean. So that's what all my advice to customers is always hoover out these fans. You only need a little tiny hoover just to blow out these fans. Because this fan doesn't get, especially with an AMD processor, if this fan gets clogged up and slows down and stops and starts doing that, these AMDs get very hot. And this bit here is the, um, the uh, CPU 
grill, the old radiator, and if this if this fan stops moving and gets hot, and that this radiator gets really hot, and then um, what happens is that the processor will fail. And normally, it's not the processor that fails on these on AMDs, and it's quite a common fault with AMDs. Is it's the actual motherboard because th this gets so hot, this radiator, because the fan's not spinning properly, that it burns out the board, and the board underneath gets destroyed because the um, radiator's not keeping the processor cool enough. It's a common uh, common fault with AMD. That's why mostly these days I recommend Intel. But if you've got a good cooler on an AMD, and you look after the AMDs and keep them um, well ventilated and keep the keep the fans clean they can go on for years and years and years so um but there's also what another fault with amds is well underneath this um radiator and fan there's a cooling paste and what happens with amds over the years the cool the cooling paste dries up and the fan fails um no the processor fails and sorry i've just lost them um, in the connection there it's just that the um the cooler uh the cooler paste dries out and then the, the the radiator gets hot and then the board fails. So it's a common fault with AMDs. But as long as you keep the compound, what I normally do with my customers with these AMDs, I renew the compound every two years to keep the machine from overheating. A common fault with AMDs. And then as long as you keep the compound renewed, the machine can last five, six, seven years. So it's just a couple of tips today as well as how we build these computers and how I keep the um, keep them working over the years. If you want to know about getting one of these machines built for you, I'm still building them at the moment. A lot of people have asked me to build them for um, self-isolation. We can still build them. Common processes we use these days are AMD Ryzen, uh, Intel i5s, Intel i3s, um, I uh, i7s if people want to go the extra mile all built i've been building machines now for 20 odd years so they're still built with this sort of quality cases and um with plenty of ventilation so the customer has the best computer for the the money they want to spend so that's ben from bi solution signing out for now i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to find out more then please contact me